Welcome back to Test Double's intro course on end-to-end -end testing with Cypress. In the last couple of videos, you learned about and wrote your first real-world Happy Path test. You also interacted with forms via the click and type commands and used other kinds of selectors to find elements with the get command. In this video, you will get more practice with real-world tests by adding another Happy Path test. In the process, you will learn the downsides to sharing persisted state between tests, how to only run specific tests with it.only, how to clear text inputs with the clear command, and how to make explicit assertions with the should command. Boot up the back-end server Cypress environment, front-end dev server, and Cypress itself. Also, ensure you're running the task.spec.js file in Cypress. We covered the user scenario of creating a task in the previous video. After creating a task, a user will likely want to update details about the task. That sounds like a great candidate for a real-world happy path test. Every time the backend test server boots up, it clears the database, so you have a blank slate. So, there aren't any existing tasks to update. You might be tempted to put this new test after the create task test and reuse the previously created task for this new test. That would work, but raises other issues that could lead to flaky tests. Sharing state between tests where one test initializes the state is awkward, and there are no guarantees that future versions of Cypress will run tests within a file in the same order every time. Ideally, each test should be responsible for managing its own state so it can be run in isolation from other tests. So, this new test needs to first create a task before it updates the task. Add this new test below the create task test. Instead of calling it directly, you call an only method on it. This will make Cypress only run this test so you don't have to wait on other tests to finish. Copy the code from the create task test and paste it into this new test. Now, let's make a few tweaks to make it more obvious this is setup code and to simplify the setup. Add a comment explaining what this chunk of code is doing. Remove the new lines to group the code together. Remove changing the status and setting the estimate for now, since they're not really relevant for data setup. Just leave the verification that the task was created to make sure we're back on the project page. We don't care if it's in the column we expect because we already tested that in the previous test. Save the file and verify the test creates the task. Next, add a new section of code below this data setup block to test updating the task. Add a comment to specify what this block of code does and create a new title variable with an updated unique title for the task. Click on the task card on the project board. Select the title input by the name attribute and type in the new title. Notice you use a new command called clear in the command chain. The clear command clears out whatever text is currently typed into the input. If you leave out the clear command, then by default Cypress would append the new title to the previous title. Next, click on the Save button. Verify the success message is displayed. And finally, verify the new task title is present and the old task title is not present on the project page. You use the trusty contains command to check for both titles, but you use a new command called should. The should command lets you write explicit assertions similar to other testing frameworks. It takes a string argument that can represent different kinds of assertions based on assertions from the chai assertion library. In this case, you pass in the assertion not exists to verify that an element containing the old task title does not exist in the DOM. Follow this link to reference other assertions you can use in Cypress. Save the file. The test should rerun, creating the task, updating its title, and verifying the updated task exists on the board. Make sure to change it.only back to just it as well, so other tests can run again. Let's recap what you accomplished. You learned the downsides to sharing state between tests. You ran only a specific test with it.only. You cleared a text input with the clear command, and you made your first explicit assertion with the should command. 
In the next video, you will learn about the dry principle, learn how duplication affects tests, and clean up some duplication in the existing YAMS test suite. Mm -hmm.